In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a brand new meta way to run one of the best passing concepts in Madden 22 out of the gun bunch. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release right here on the channel every single day for both sides of the football. Now guys, I wanted to share this with you. I'm planning to run this uh, this play a lot in the Madden, uh, in the MCS uh, Ultimate Kickoff uh, Championship Tournament Ladder this weekend. And I wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek of our Seattle Seahawks Offensive Guide. Now, um, if you have not gotten the Seattle Seahawks Offensive Guide, I just want to tell you right now, we're getting ready to do a major update with some red zone dots. I pretty much go for two every single time on the offensive side of the ball and almost every single time I'm able to complete it. So if you want some really good red zone plays, you want some really good just bomb plays out of every coverage, we've also released a lot of the meta stuff. So we've also released stuff that other pros are using as well and kind of broken down some of their concepts. So really what it is, is it's meant to be a one-stop shop for the gun bunch. So if you want to learn this incredible offense that's been good for years in Madden, I would encourage you to pick up the Seattle Seahawks Offensive Guide. We're also going to be updating it with a really fire uh, running scheme out of the Deuce Close, the Pistol Ace, um, kind of an ace personnel running scheme that I really have had a lot of fun with as well over the last couple of days. So if you want to get access to all of that content, all you got to do is buy the guide. It's down in the description. There's a link there that you can click on. It's going to take you to the website, and you can get that guide for just 15 bucks. So if you want to get the offense, in my opinion, that is the number one offense in Madden right now, the Gun Bunch, I would encourage you to get it. It's really, really effective. It's really hard for you to get stopped. You're going to find yourself completing over 90% of your passes routinely, and you're going to find yourself putting over 50 points a game. So if you want to get access to that, it's in the description. Okay, guys, so the play Flood. And really, I wanted to show you this new setup that I've been using that I absolutely love. And it's real simple. All we're going to do is we are going to take the running back, and we're going to put him on an out route. And then we're going to take the circle receiver, and we're going to put him on an in route. Now, I know you can't see my adjustments, but this is, and here we go, this is what the play will look like. Now, a couple years back in Madden, the Gun Bunch had an incredible motion snap. Um, basically, if you put your receiver on a slant route, he would get this little ghost motion and essentially come underneath every zone in the game. That's pretty much what we're going to get from this in route. So I'm just going to motion him out, kind of snap just as he sets. And my first read on this play is always this tight end. Now, what I really like about that tight end route is I can throw that pretty much against everything. So that was seam flats, kind of default zone drops. But then I want to show you that you can throw this also if they have hard flats. Take a look at the fact that you can throw it. The reason why is because that circle receiver is already out there. So you can snap throw that against a hard flat and get easy yardage against your opponent. The other thing that I absolutely love about this play is how quick these reads come together. You've got your dig route right there, right off the in, right off that uh, little flat route that you can always look to if they're playing hard flats and they really commit to taking away the tight end. Then you can easily go to that other read. And then my absolute favorite route on this play is actually the in route this year. The in route gets incredible separation to the inside against man, against zone. And I love to do that little spin move right there to be able to get extra yardage against anything that the defense is going to do. Now, if your opponent likes to put their uh, their zone drops on like 10 yards, uh, like they're, they're maybe they're putting their curl flats on 10 yards or they're trying to play a little bit over the top, you're going to see that this running back out route gets underneath every single zone. And that little cut right there is going to get you an easy 5 to 10 yards uh, every single time. This is also one of my fa absolute favorite uh, plays against man to man. And the reason why it's so good is this running back route absolutely torches man coverage to the outside, especially an ultimate team. If you have a receiving back like Christian McCaffrey that has the backfield master ability, you're going to find that that is really effective. The other thing that I absolutely love is the timing at which this in route comes open. In this year's game, you're not able to use her both sides of the field pretty much at all. So what your opponent's going to have to do, especially if they like to run the meta Mabel coverage. In this year's game, you kind of need to be blitzing three. Um, so they might sit over here on your little in route um, to, the, to the solo receiver, as most people would against Flood. But what you're going to see is if you step up in the pocket, this circle receiver is going to come wide open. You can do another spin move or a double juke, something quick. 
And as you can see, we're able to really carve up the defense in a variety of ways. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is this out route. And in practice mode, this out route's not going to get, in my opinion, as much justice as it deserves. Because really what this is meant to do is punish someone whenever they're, whenever they're doing their zone drops. As you can see, it still gets open. Um, but this is more of something that we like to do whenever someone is doing zone drops. And what I mean by zone drops is they're putting their flats on like 25 yards and then they're putting their curl flats on like five yards to stop that tight end out route or tight end uh, flat route. And so what's gonna leave open is this, this out route to R1. You're just gonna pass this up and you see there that if it's a stock coverage, it's not gonna get us open. But if it's a, if it's a, it's a zone dropped coverage, then it will get wide open against that coverage. So, you know, if to mimic this, I'm just gonna take this guy right here and man him up onto the tight end, just because I want you to see that really they're not gonna have a deeper zone. And this is something that you can use to, and really it works well. It's probably the best, if you're gonna play me and Madden, this is probably one of the hardest plays for me to stop because most people, when they defend gun bunch, they're not going to be concerning themselves with this play. They're gonna be trying to stop corner routes. They're gonna be trying to stop um, little quick drags and things like that. So because of the way that this route gets open and gets in a very unique spot of the coverage on that side, you're really able to beat a lot of different defenses with it, whether it be man-to-man -man or zone. Now this route is a phenomenal man-beater. In fact, it's probably one of the better man-beating out routes in the game. What you're gonna see is he's gonna get this wraparound technique, and if he's not open, your in route will be open. Typically what's gonna happen is he's gonna get this little wraparound technique. I think this is a little bit more effective in ultimate team just because you have a little bit better route running, a little bit better speed. But what you'll see here is, and I guess he's just gonna get pressed out of, out of those shoes. But as you can see, you can always check down to your other in route, or you can even check down to Antonio Brown, which is one of the main reasons why I absolutely love this play because it gives you so many options and they're just little zigs and zags against the best, you know, just really easy uh, reads here, honestly. They're super simple. Now, if you're getting a blitz, I wanna give you a setup that is really good against Mike Blitz 3. So if you're getting a lot of this meta coverage where they're gonna send five and then they're gonna basically bail with one in the middle of the field, this is a phenomenal play for that because they gotta have two zones over on the right side to cover that and they're not going to. So all we're going to do is we're going to drag the circle receiver across the formation and we're going to block the running back. And what you're gonna see here is the running back will pick up all pressure and then you've got so much power to just check it down, check it down to that drag. That's gonna really hold their user. Um, the other thing is if they're gonna send pressure at you, they're going to have to absolutely uh, play hard flats to stop the flat route or the drag route. So then what you can do is just go to your next progression because you have time in the pocket now to hit that in route. And as you can see, it's a very simple passing concept that I think is super effective. One last setup for this play that I absolutely love, and it is a max protect setup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tight end on a delayed drag. The reason I like to delay drag this year is because it kills man-to-man -man and zone coverage. So we put that tight end on that delayed drag, and then we've got the circle receiver that what we're gonna do with him is we're gonna put him on a flat route just like so. And this is just a simple high-low to that right side of the field, but as you can see, it absolutely kills any kind of pressure. Um, if you're ever feeling like your opponent's going to some pressure, or they want some pressure, they wanna get up in your face, this is honestly one of the best plays because What's gonna happen is they're gonna go with their user to the right side of the field. So if they go to their with their user to the middle, then you have this whole side of the field that you can work. And then if they go to the other side and they go to try to take away that out route, what you're gonna see happen is, again, you're just gonna set your coverage up. And let's say they play hard flats, more than likely if they're gonna really have to overcommit to the out route, right? So what you're gonna naturally get as a result of this is they're going out to the out route and now there's nobody in the middle of the field and in this year's game you can't cover both it is darn near impossible and what i absolutely love about this whole concept is let's say that they drop some people into the middle of the field so let's say they play hard flats maybe they play a purple over there maybe they get maybe you guess wrong is what i'm kind of getting at um so you get a coverage that's essentially you know a mabel concept 
and let me just show you so let me get this guy on the inside third and then let me get this guy kind of in this area so now you get a look like this right well what i love about this concept is you have answers for that not only are your other routes going to get open but this is truly where your tight end route comes open you just release him snap throw it and get up field for about eight to ten yards it's going to be man it's going to be zone so this is one of my favorite plays this year i believe offense is about efficiency if you can be as efficient as possible you want to make sure you're scoring every single drive this play right here is going to allow you to do just that so if you've not already gotten my seattle seahawks offensive guide i would highly encourage you to do that like i said we're adding other concepts to it that aren't just from seattle so that you can have a full picture of everything that you can do from the shotgun bunch formation but we're also adding a lot of content from seattle and we've so far updated it several times throughout the last week as later patches are coming out different bombs are being developed and things like that so this cons or this uh, formation is absolutely lethal so i'd encourage you if you're looking for an offense or if you want to get the most efficient and the most effective way to play offense in madden 22 the seattle seahawks guide in my opinion is the best way to play right now thanks for your support i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to pick that guide up there is a link in the description that i'll take you to the website where you'll be able to pay and you'll get that all squared away thanks for your support guys and we'll see you guys later